Breaking news from the 2019 Detroit International Auto Show as Hyundai has just unveiled the 2019 Hyundai Elantra GT N line. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about this new trim for the Elantra GT, including some styling features, performance figures that you need to know, technology and safety features, a little bit about the competition, and of course, how much it'll cost and when it's going to go on sale. Let's jump in and start with styling because, well, what you need to know about N-Line is that it's kind of a new brand for Hyundai that'll sit just below the high performance N models, like the Veloster N, but above the base trims. In terms of actual styling bits, the Elantra GT N-Line will take a lot of its styling elements from the i30N hatchback. Now, of course, we don't get the i30 here in the US, but this is where the GT N-Line will get a lot of its styling cues from. Of course, you have a unique N-Line grille with a silver surround trim, a lower front spoiler that helps with aerodynamics, you get blacked out side mirrors, special N-Line 18-inch alloy wheels, and of course, a whole lot of N-Line badging on places like the hatchback, the steering wheel, the seats, and of course, the shift knob. In terms of performance, well, with the new N-Line version of the Elantra GT, you get stiffer suspension, but no more power than the old GT Sport. Under the hood is a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder that makes 201 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. As I said, this is the same as the old Elantra GT Sport. But Hyundai has given the GT N line stiffer chassis and stiffer suspension. The engine mounts are 6.3% stiffer, the transmission mount is 24% stiffer, and the springs are 14.3% stiffer in the front, 21.9% stiffer in the rear. Of course, helping provide more stiffness is a thicker rear stability bar and some new suspension and steering calibrations. In terms of transmissions, well, you have two choices still, a six-speed manual, which is a great option, or a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Both of those transmissions will send the power from this little 1.6-liter turbo to the front wheels, and putting that power to the ground is a set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4 summer tires on the manual version only, or of course, you get some Hankook All Seasons with the seven speed dual clutch transmission. What about technology and safety? Well, the Elantra GT was actually an IIHS top safety pick. We did a video on all the IIHS top safety picks. You can click the link at the top of the screen to watch that video. What sort of tech and safety features do you get? Well, you get Hyundai Smart Sense, which is available on the Elantra GT N line. That includes adaptive cruise control with start-stop capability, forward collision braking, lane keep assist, high beam assist, and driver attention warning. Plus, you also get an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system called Hyundai AVN 5.0 with navigation. Of course, this is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as Blue Link connectivity services, and you get an Infinity Premium audio system. Other options that you can get in terms of technology, well, there's a panoramic sunroof, a wireless charging pad for your smartphone, and, of course, a power driver seat with lumbar support. Okay, what will the Elantra GT be competing with? Well, here we've laid out some of the main competition that we think this will be going up against. Of course, you have cars like the Honda Civic, the Toyota Corolla hatchback, the Mazda 3. Other Hyundai and Kia cars it could also be competing with include the Hyundai Veloster and, of course, the Kia Soul. Last but not least, when can you buy it and how much will it cost? Well, actually, the 2019 Hyundai Elantra GT N-Line is on sale right now. It should be in your dealerships around this time. The base trim Elantra GT will start at $20,450. To move up to the N-Line with the six-speed manual, you'll have to pay $23,300. And then to get the dual clutch transmission, you'll go a little higher still to $24,400. Of course, these prices all do not include the $885 destination fee that'll be applied to something you'd buy from a dealership. Well guys, there you go. That should be everything that you need to know about the 2019 Hyundai Elantra GT N-Line. I hope you guys liked this video. Please be sure to stay tuned to tflcar.com for the latest news, views, real world reviews, and of course, tons of coverage from the 2019 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. And we'll see you guys next time.